Bronze and Ninety Nine. Cubes and prisms, spheres within cubes, planes, time, portals. This and so much more keeps popping up. And I, for one, would like to keep searching for the truth behind all this. Is this the truth of things that there is, uh, there is nowhere else? That we must do it all here, ourselves? And that, that is the, the great fear that people will not be able to cope with the fact that this is it. And that all ideas, old and new, must come from here. For myself, it could have been so much worse. It could be so much worse than it is now. This, this analogy of going from a golden time to rack and ruin and back again is as old as time itself. For myself, playing Final Fantasy has helped me to think outside the box. And I feel for those who think that just watching films or just reading books, just painting, if you just choose one of them then that's enough. For me that will never be enough. I must take my inspiration from many different areas, many different people. For myself, computers are not the brainwashing tool they could be. The brainwashing tool that TV became. For myself, computers have become a way for people to do the same thing in many different ways. You can only read a book one way, though you yourself may interpret it in your own way. Now each new game that is being made is allowing for a wider scope of choices. Choices that are not available to us in our everyday real life. And it is this ability to choose which people are drawn to within games. And that I hope to help bring about in the real world for future generations, if not for myself. Freedom of choice is everything. And freedom of choice has been taken from us for a long time. Now, I think it would scare people if they were given it back overnight. And so it must be introduced again in such a way that it might be begged for, almost. myself I thank the people that have given me these choices in these computer games and for the wider choices they give me today that I didn't have once upon a time do you see the Saturn cube 
Is it what you think it is? Is everything what you think it is? Or have you just taken it as face value as what has been presented to you? For myself, it's time you started looking a little bit deeper. Scary as it may be under the surface, the truth is down there. I implore you all to keep searching, keep sharing. And if this is all there is, then do not think of this as a prison any more than you would think of as your skull being a prison for your mind. This is a requirement for your mind to exist. Perhaps uh, a container of sorts is a requirement for our existence. Much love to you all. Much peace and love to you all. And I thank you if you watched my little film. And I thank Square Enix and everybody else involved with making Final Fantasy over the years. Including Sony PlayStation. Peace.